there is no destination, babe. Like if you got today to wake up, I say it all the time, then there's a reason why God keeps waking you up. There's a reason why you came across this video because it's time to wake up. 10 tips that are gonna change your life. Let's get into it. I want you to be on top of your game tomorrow. Not in four months, not I'm waiting for 2025. I'm waiting for a new year. This year has already been, we say this every single year. We say we're gonna do stuff. We say we're gonna wait for this special occasion. We say that we're gonna wait to wear this outfit when we get to this certain destination. I'm giving you 10 tips that are gonna instantly change your life when it comes to reinventing yourself and glowing up. Hello, beautiful people. How are you guys doing? We are already in September. We have four months left before we bring in 2025. I thought this would be the perfect time to give you 10 tips for you to get ahead in one month before 2025. Like I need you to be on your game for the next month of September before 2025. As you're looking to reinvent yourself and go Glow up, giving you 10 essential tips that are so life changing. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Shanice. I started my YouTube channel this year through consistency and a lot of these 10 tips that I'm going to mention I've been able to grow a huge community and I love you guys and those who are new welcome you're going to have a great time here you're going to learn a lot here as well you're going to just start feeling really good in your body not only physically but mentally financially spiritually all of that good stuff because I give this to you through my own lessons my own testimonies that have changed my life if you like this kind of content be sure to subscribe and like this video and send it to a girly because it's going to be so good tip number one my girls is going to be stop saying i can't stop saying i don't or i won't or it could never be me stop speaking those affirmations over your life and the new changes that you're looking to create especially when you're looking to reinvent yourself and rebrand you have to be a beginner at a lot of things when you are looking to become a better version or a higher version of you because where you're trying to go you have never been you have no experience therefore you have to sacrifice you have to learn you have to go through trial and error for you to actually get to the destiny I think a lot of times people talk themselves out of achieving their goals for actually seeing the reward come to life because either at the midst of the beginning or midway you start getting discouraged or you start saying I can't do this anymore obstacles arise and obstacles never stop coming we get deterred off of our route. We get deterred off of our journey. We get deterred off of our focus from getting and achieving our goals. And that is why I've said this before, whatever is not for you will have an end date. Whatever is not for you, what God wants for you, when you are not obedient or patient that is when it's going to take longer and he'll keep testing you he'll keep testing your faith he'll keep testing your discipline your resilience he'll test you until you're willing to sacrifice and surrender and say okay i'm actually going to have more faith and i'm going to believe that it can be me i can get whatever i want i can get what i desire a lot of the women that you look up to such as me get what we want. You cannot have, I can't, or I don't in that sentence. When it pertains to your vision, your goals, anything that you desire, you, it should not be in your vocabulary. I'm gonna try it out so we can maybe just switch our language to, I can, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna give this a chance. I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm going to bet on myself and I'm gonna go all in. I'm going to go through the trial and errors. I'm gonna sit sometimes and ask God deeply, what is the lesson behind what I'm currently going through? What do you want me to learn from this? Where do you want me to go? 
heal and grow from this because there's many times I've been in seasons. A lot of you guys know my backstory with a bad breakup and a death in the same week. I ask God, what are you trying to teach me right now? Because how did you take two people from my life? What did I do to deserve this? Like, what are you trying to show me? And through that, I was able to build my business and build my life to where it is right now through trial and error, through obstacles and not giving up. Number two, stop waiting for the perfect moment. You have this moment right now to be living, to be loving, to be exploring. If you need to cry, you can cry. If you need a shoulder to cry on, just make sure you have the right people around you. You have this moment right now to, if you wanted tomorrow to get up and become a new person, you could get up and become a new person and literally reinvent yourself and reintroduce yourself. Because the people that may have known the old Shen, I have to reintroduce myself. I used to actually always say Shen. I introduced myself as Shen and now I introduce myself as Shanice, the full pronunciation of my name. Once I realized that I had this moment right now, I knew that I had to wake up. I had to wake up. In 2024, I woke up and was like, I'm going after everything. I'm standing on business for everything. And it only took a switch to go off in my head that was like, I don't want to settle for anything less than what I know I deserve. I don't want to settle for half-ass relationships, one-sided relationships. I don't want to settle for any toxic behaviors or energies or attitudes. I don't want to settle for anything. I know what God has for me is greater than where I am right now. But if I get really focused and stern on my boundaries, my standards, and get really grounded in the scripture and the word of God that is going to guide me day by day to give me that boost in confidence to know that I am always protected, I am always guided. I know that when I intentionally make my actions and move through my moments and the current day that I'm in, the current second that I'm in, everything that I touch, everything that I do is out of intention. Everything that I say is out of intention. How I move is out of intention and it's because God is guiding me and I will not settle. I will not settle. I will not shrink myself. I will not shorten myself. I will not care too much about other people because I only have this moment. And a lot of you guys are putting things off for another day or when I feel better or when I look like this, maybe when I'm this person, you need to just wake up and just decide that this is who you're going to be. This is the boundaries you're going to have. This these are your actions these are your new habits and stick to them because how badly do you want to see the other side of yourself there's no perfect moment god keeps waking you up because he's giving you this opportunity every time i remember when my dad had asked me if i wanted to go see my grandma and i said i'm gonna go another time she passed that same maybe 24 hours that i didn't go and see her and I had the opportunity. Many times we have the opportunity and the moment to be present, to go and see the person that really loves us, to go and spend time and be present with our loved ones, to go and do something for ourselves, to take care of ourselves, to go and do something nice for ourselves. Whatever it is that you've been putting off, you have this moment and you're playing like you have tomorrow. It's not guaranteed. And if God keeps waking you up, that's because he truly has something over your life. Why he wants you here. Why he wants you to see your purpose, your potential. That's why you found this video. Number three, put yourself in uncomfortable situations because, babe, you're not going to keep growing. You're not going to grow. You're just not going to grow if you feel comfortable. You're not going to grow around the people who know you maybe like 20 years ago and they have bad habits too. You're not going to grow around anything that's not growing. Let me tell you that period. You need to be around like-minded individuals that are on the same path as you or similar. They have similar goals. They are ambitious. They move. They have action to their words. You're not going to grow around people that say they're going to do something and then they just sit and wait or they just never do it or they're procrastinators. Yes, we can all be procrastinators, but stop giving yourself that excuse to make 
that excuse your life or why you don't want to move forward or why you feel like you should just always keep reverting back to the bad company and the bad habits that are hindering your life if you truly want a change in your life god put you on this earth you you i don't care if you have a twin you came into this world not the person beside you that means you're in control of everything you do your actions your choices your words how you move what your reality looks like and a lot of you guys don't realize that you're sitting on your words you say you're going to do something and you sit on it and you make the excuse oh i'm a procrastinator oh i have adhd honestly we are all so similar but when you wake up in the morning and you know you got to do something you go and do it because you said you were going to do it after this video everything you said you were going to do i need you to start doing and actually go after it because you're going to be complaining and you keep complaining you keep complaining and you keep complaining you keep complaining but you're not changing anything i have seen a lot of things in life that i don't want to replicate in my life which requires me to change my mindset my actions the way i move how i hold myself accountable you guys are looking for a lot of motivation and accountability outside yourself yet when somebody does something to you you're ready to fire but when you do something or you let yourself down, you never hold yourself accountable. I remember I was telling myself, I was like, how are you mad at guys for doing da 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 da? But you're not mad at yourself when you don't show up on your word because I hate disappointment, but I'm quick to disappoint myself or I was quick to disappoint myself. And once I changed my mindset for what I would do for a guy, for now what i would do for myself i think when i was in a relationship or certain earlier relationships you know i didn't really know about love i would sacrifice my time myself for people that didn't even love me on an equal playing field and now i give that to myself i stand on my word i give myself the reality i know i deserve and i'm only moving forward and it depends on your mindset Anytime you're learning, because you're going to be a beginner, you want to be in new spaces, you want to meet new people, you want to network, it's going to take some trial and error along the way because, you know, some people are really standoffish before they warm up to you. Some people are welcoming and some people are not. And the people that are not can usually turn you off and make you really uncomfortable and actually force you to revert back to your old surrounding, your old habits, your old mindset because they weren't welcoming in the first place. And so I just keep putting myself in different areas different rooms and just testing the waters but as i'm testing the waters i am growing my confidence to be like wow i actually tried it out i did that i went to a workout class i didn't know anybody but i started talking to people you know maybe some people were giving me looks i don't know i was just focused on me making myself feel like i needed to be in that room and space making myself feel like I deserve to be there and I felt so good I was just focused on me making sure that I was feeling good whether I was alone or not and that is why it's important to vibe with yourself and get really comfortable with being by yourself because the only way that you're going to be able to do a lot of these new things is by going by yourself sometimes right your company sometimes yeah they want to grow they're unreliable or they're going back to their old habits they're not even holding themselves accountable you can't grow with people who don't hold themselves accountable or they're not sticking to their goals either so you need to be in rooms and around people that are always ambitiously growing they stick to their word they stay true to their actions it's important or which leads to number four don't be afraid to take action by yourself i honestly grew up thinking i needed tons of friends tons of people around me a man always by me no when I went through my phase of being single for two years I did the most growth because I didn't know myself when I came out of a relationship I was lost I was depressed I my dad had passed at the same time I literally knew nothing aside from how to do my job anything else about how to survive as a human no i needed to rebuild myself i learned the most that's when i started reinventing myself that was in 2020 to 2021 and best years of my life i was alone i was single i was lonely but i watched a lot of creators like you know who i am now 
I watched a lot of creators that shaped me into this woman and I also guided me. I had mentors. I also had a coach that helped me to level up in my bodybuilding career and my business. I just invested in a lot of mentorship that is going to get me further. Anything else that I did was on my own. I would go places by myself. I would go to cafes by myself. I lived downtown at the time. I never went outside by myself. I was actually really shy. I even got an electric scooter and got, and I had these big, big glasses, like big dark shades that I would wear when I was on my scooter because I was afraid of people approaching me. Like I know I'm beautiful, but I didn't want anybody approaching me. Like I was so shy. I didn't make friends within that time because I was never really going outside outside I was in a journey and a season of just really getting to know myself and to learn what triggers me what I'm afraid of what I'm fearful of why I'm afraid of being myself outside why I keep putting these dark shades on my face and hiding myself I just had to learn like why do I keep sheltering myself instead of blossoming and that is why like solid Solitude, you don't have to be single to do this, but solitude and just building a relationship with yourself is so important to just go places. I went to restaurants by myself and somehow that was way more easier than walking outside by myself. I don't know what it was, but I would take myself out to nice restaurants. Before I started dating, I was like, if I can take myself out to nice restaurants and pay my bill and I like the restaurant, I like the menu, I'm not dating anything under under what I can give myself. So I honestly came up with a lot of non-negotiables and boundaries, my ideal man, things I don't accept, things I won't bend for, and that was huge for me. So that's why you gotta do things by yourself. Like I don't wait on people, they're so unreliable. People be like, oh, I'm coming, or they wake up in a mood and they're like, oh, I don't feel pretty today, so I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I'm not doing this. Like you gotta vibe by yourself. You're just in your own zone, on your own wave, on your own time. And I have my tripods with me. Like, girl, I got my tripods with me. This one gets longer. This one is a shorter one. I'm going on a walk soon. And I just vibe by myself and just explore and just have a good time. I buy myself things like, I'm not stressed. Number five is learn how to be yourself. Like a lot of people are trying to reenact what they see on social media or they're trying to keep up with trends. That is how you throw your entire life off. If it's not meant for you, God is going to really give you a trial. So many trials before you learn to take an L and move on and really just do some self soul seeking. When you're trying to be like anybody else or copy other people or or envy what other people have, you take away and block your own blessings in a way where God cannot bless you any further than where you currently are. You need to learn to be yourself, be grateful for where you are, your journey. We are all unique and we all have a beautiful journey and a story to tell. It's about going through life and really going after your goals. No matter how many times you stumble, no matter how many times you fall, you pick yourself back up and you're like, okay, like I got this. And you're not trying to be like anybody else. You're not trying to live for anybody else. You're literally just being good to you. And that's all that matters. And being your authentic, your true self, that's transparent, you're authentic. You know yourself so well that nobody can steer you left or right be yourself that is the only thing that is going to help you get closer to your dream girl find out what you like to wear what you like to smell like how you like to do your hair play around with yourself so that you keep reinventing yourself stop trying to be like everybody else buying things doing this doing that find your own rhythm find your own flow and be yourself all the time don't even try and change yourself for anybody else if you're trying to train yourself for a man no Go and change yourself for you and attract the man that truly loves you through all of your seasons, whether you have makeup on or you don't have makeup on, whether you gain 20 pounds or you lose 20 pounds, you need to go and attract somebody based on your own dream girl, based on who you've become and they have fallen for your true self, not 
your cut out image of anybody else. Which leads to number six, stop comparing yourself to other people because everybody's journey is unique. Comparison is going to steal your life, okay? Like a lot of you guys are on social media and social media is such a trap. A lot of people are just living under a rock. Like social media has you stuck because you are watching what everybody else is doing. You're envying what everybody else is doing. The fact that you have time to envy somebody else's life and you're so lazy sitting on your bed when you could be getting up and going to take initiative towards your own life is crazy. I stopped doing that a long time ago because I was like, I'm going after my dreams. I'm going after my goals and goals. it's a non-negotiable. Focus on yourself and always be focused on yourself. Stop comparing yourself. If you want a certain life or you see something that somebody else has, why can't you get up and go and get it? But you keep falling back on your bad habits. You keep falling back and being depressed. You're depressed because you're scrolling you're depressed because you see somebody else winning in life or that they got up and they did what they needed to do babe so you need to get up too which leads me to number seven stop relying on motivation like stop relying on anything outside of you when it comes to seeking validation encouragement motivation how do you think we all became who we became the people that you are watching okay we eventually had to snap out of it and realize that our life and reality is in our own hands and motivation comes and goes you don't always want to wake up hi honey i'm so busy and sometimes so exhausted but i know that i'm so heavily motivated on staying consistent on my journey of coaching of teaching you as i pour into myself like i'm on this journey literally with you motivation comes and goes but when you are so focused on your purpose and you love what you do and you love your life nobody else can really motivate you aside from yourself like when you really want your body goals you know how you want to feel you know how you want to look motivation is what gets you started but the accountability the the, the discipline who you become in the process the feeling of it I tell my clients, chase the feeling because you will always feel so good. And you always go back to the feeling of either feeling good or a toxic feeling, right? Oftentimes we go back to toxic feelings or toxic relationships because it's familiar. But we forget about when we started working on ourselves, how good that felt as well. Going closer to toxic relationships sometimes is a lot easier because it's familiar. It's something that's always going to be there. It's easier to be toxic versus when it comes to good feelings it takes some time for you to develop and that's why you have to be patient you just have to stay on that route you have to stay committed motivation is going to come and go but how badly do you want to change how badly do you want to go after your dream woman how badly do you want to see your dream woman how badly do you want that reality how badly do you want to break this cycle how badly do you want to get out of this cycle of every day you don't feel good how badly do you want to just get out of a rut and just be like i really committed you gotta just be so in love with yourself and if you're not currently in love with yourself nobody else can love you greater than you love yourself nobody else can give you the motivation and anything that you want from somebody else nobody can give it to you based on how you give it to yourself or how you give it to yourself that's why this self-love journey is so important reinventing yourself is not so you can be more attractive for other people reinventing yourself is so you become the best version for yourself that you are not stretching bending or sacrificing yourself for anybody to love you or like you you love yourself enough that you're already enough and anybody who doesn't see that and doesn't value your worth is not right for you they don't deserve you they don't deserve to know you they don't even deserve to know the new version of you and so i changed my number you need a motivation you got today people die every single second people die every single minute every hour you got today you got 24 hours or less to make something happen for yourself number eight either stop talking about it stop complaining about it or just do it why do you keep complaining i've been there of course i'm sharing my lessons based on my own experiences because i've been there let me go back. I was in a five year toxic relationship and I kept complaining about it. I would complain to everybody, my friends, my family, my mom. I would fight with this man. I would argue, oh my God, my life was terrible. Honestly, a lot of us women go through it and I'm saying it's very similar and I kept going back to it, complaining about it. Until one day I just, I just had a, just say I just got tired and I was like, you know what, I just don't deserve to keep doing this. 
so much. I stopped in that moment and I was like, you know what? I don't deserve this. And my life changed after that for the better. Listen, when I say you have the power to change something you don't like, it's going to take time because of course, like I was attached to this person. You are attached to things. And I've learned since my last breakup to not be attached to the outcome, to not be attached to people, materialistic things, anything outside of myself pretty much. Because I was so attached, I found it so hard to even let go. And that is what made it so much harder. And that's what made me keep going back and complaining about it. And now I know if I'm going to complain about it, I'm going to complain about it once and you're not going to hear about it ever again. And I was like, Shan, no, anything I want in life, I'm going after it. I'm going to stumble. I'm going to fall. I'm going to scrape my knee. I'm going after it because I want it because I deserve it because I'm that woman. I'm getting it. And if I don't like this love, if I feel like this is a bare minimum, if this is not what I signed up for, I'm sorry, this is not for me. You're literally losing your years yourself in the process. Choose yourself, choose your happiness, work on yourself or stop complaining about it. You gotta stop complaining. It's all about action. It's all about action. Because Number nine, stop holding on to your old ways and your old self, your old identity. A lot of you are like, I can't do this. I can't be this person. I can't do this. Da -da 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 -da. So many excuses because you're stuck on this is who I am. This is if this is who you are, that is not who you're going to become. So you kind of really have to talk to yourself like, OK, in order for me to become this person, I really have to unlearn all these bad habits. I have to become a new person. I have to be okay with accepting that there has to be change and there has to be a hard journey of learning. And we don't really have a lot of these examples of women that are even our parents sometimes that show us the process of learning themselves or going through life because we're all on survival mode or like for me, I didn't have vulnerable parents. So that's why it's important for you to not be stuck in your old identity. You didn't know a lot of these things that you want to know, that you're eager to know, that you want to learn. So you have to be gracious to yourself and just learn. Go and go and seek mentorship. So it just takes time, but it's always worth it in the end. You are not stuck being this person. You are meant to evolve. You are meant to glow up. You are meant to reinvent yourself. You are meant to become the dream woman that you desire to become. It's just up to you whether you want to do it today or you want to wait and postpone for another year when you're this person or when you're this weight. Life is all about a journey. You can do a lot of these better habits that are actually going to be more fulfilling over time as you make a 360 change. And number 10 is going to be stop trying to be liked. Stop trying to be liked by everybody else. Stop trying to, you know, be no stop trying to be anything that you're not or seek validation or attention or approval from anybody else i want you to know that in this journey of reinventing yourself is all about building your own worth knowing your worth knowing your own value and doing what's best for you always when it comes down to your 360 transformation your health your mindset your nutrition your habits your time you got to stand on your boundaries and never lose yourself or other people just because you want to fill a temporary void or you're lonely or you are afraid of doing this life by yourself. You are not alone. God is always with you. If you ever need mentorship, there's so many mentors out there, but you are never alone in this journey. Tons of love in your journey. I love you guys so much. I want you to know that I have been where you are. I am still growing. I am still learning. Life is all about reinventing yourself. There's no end there's no end to reinventing yourself reaching to become your higher and higher self every time and it's so worth it seeking anything outside of yourself is not worth it trying to be liked by people who don't even like themselves is not worth it trying to be liked by people or keeping up with the trends so you go broke is not worth it trying to buy your love is not worth it there is somebody there are people out there your vibe your company that are going to be all in for you and you will never have to question them they will always be there for you don't don't settle never ever settle and never sell yourself for to be liked okay if you love this video don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys so much and i'll see you soon